Hello everyone, Argon Matrix here, welcoming you to episode 53 of Let's Play Super Mario RPG Legend of the Seven Stars. And we should be getting the seventh star pretty soon here, because past this door is pretty much right, almost at the end game. So we're about there. And we shouldn't wait keep it waiting any longer, but I am going to just to do a few things here. Uh, number one, I want to restore my flowers down there, because they're down to they were down to pretty low, so that's full. And one other thing I want to do for a very specific reason, i.e. the next fight that's coming up, is I'm going to switch in uh, Mallow in place of Gino. There's a specific reason for that, and you will see what it is right about now. Well, not right now, but once we get into the battle with this guy, the Red Magic Koopa. This is Smithy's Castle. No trespassers allowed. Uh-oh. And we enter into one of the easiest boss fights you will ever face. This is just magic but basically all you have to do is use your regular attacks. No strategy, just 1600 HP. No big deal. But one interesting thing that I want to show off is if you use Psychopath on it to see what its thought is, and we'll also find out its HP I suppose. And 1261. Oh no, I didn't get the thought on it. Oh, I guess I have to pull up the action command to do that, don't I? Well, I'll try that next next round because I really want to show off this guy's quote because it's really kind of interesting. It's not exactly funny; it's a little bit funny, but I just I'm just more intrigued by it because I don't really know what it's supposed to refer to. Let's try it again here. Did I get that? No. Wait. Ah, crap. What the hell? What are you doing? Huh? I've never seen you do this before. What's going on? Oh my god, Magikoop is hiding behind the Bahamut? What? This... You can't do that, that's... That's ridiculous. Well, fine, I guess we have to deal with the Bahamut right in the middle of this fire. Right in the middle of this fight. Flame! No... Eh, zero to Peach, so... No big deal there. And can I even attack Magic? No, I can't when Bahamut's in the way. Alright, whatever. Oh, wow, I, I don't think I've even ever seen that attack from Mal, the sticky glove. That's crazy. I didn't actually pick up his ultimate weapon in this place either. Which is kind of sad. Oh boy. Uh, oh, I need to turn off the volume on my phone. I can do that in just a second. Uh, psychopath, here we go. One of these days I'm going to get this. I swear I am. And if not, I guess I can just show it off later somehow. No biggie. No biggie at all. Bam, bam. Smush, smush. And you might be dead in this hit. Yeah, there we go. Kind of sad that I didn't get to show off the quote that I wanted to, but... Oh, well. Next time. Anyways, that's how easy that battle is. It didn't take long at all. And you don't get much experience for it either. And with that... Ma Magic Koopa turns back to Bowser's side, it would seem. Because... Yeah. Magic Koopa! Huh? Where am I? Bowser, hello, how have you been? I, uh, made it back here somehow, but it seems I've been brainwashed or something. I can't seem to remember anything. Have I done something wrong? Um, don't, don't worry about it. Let's just put it behind us. Oh, you've turned into a pretty nice guy. Hey, Bowser, my magic can still help you. Oh, how's that? Watch this. Ho, ho, kala, ku, pua. And he makes a very beautiful golden treasure box. This magic treasure box never runs out of coins. Just keep on hitting it. And that is very, very true. So, you can just keep on hitting this and hitting this, and it'll never, ever run out of coins. Very good for grinding coins. There are actually better ways, though. But I have a full walled anyways, so no point. Okay, we'll talk to him to get our FP and HP all fully restored. Good stuff. And I think we'll switch Geno back in, because... That's really the only reason I want to mallow out. Now back to our amazing threesome. The Fantastic Three. You still hanging around? Oh, one more items, huh? I, since I'm in a good mood. How'd you even get here, Croco? I didn't see you at, like, at all in the six door trial thing. So here he's got some good stuff. And the best armor in the game. The hero shirt, that's for Mario, but... Well, actually, he does need that. Uh, Prince Pants for Mallow. The star cape for Gino and the heel shell for Bowser. The royal dress for Peach. You could get that, but I prefer the lazy shell myself. And we'll start equipping these things. Uh, Mario, you get the hero shirt. 
and you know star cape and these are basically the final equips in the game I don't know why it's called the heal shell but like I couldn't think of anything better for Bowser like the torment shell or something I don't know and that's it that might be our final equipage ever in this game unless I can like magically pull off the hundred super jumps and get something else for Mario and uh, can we sell some stuff here yeah sell this this we have a lot of crap to sell don't we and look at that we almost made back all the money from that it's ridiculous and I think we'll buy some extra stuff uh we'll need some mad some mid mushrooms probably maple syrup oh I don't have enough money for well I don't have enough space I mean what can I sell to make space so that bracer um, I don't really need pick me ups because I have peach all the time. Star egg, no. Bright card. Eh, I could sell the bright card, I suppose, couldn't I? I don't really need it. Oh, I won't, I won't keep to, like other things though, too. Uh, earlier times. I don't know. I kind of like all this stuff. I think that should be good if I just buy like a few maple syrups. There we go. Four maple syrups. That should do should do us for the rest of the game pretty much see ya oh, and that's the last time we see croco kinda sad to see him go he's an awesome purple crocodile but all great things must come to an end just like this LP I'm real I'm honestly gonna be sad to see it go I love this game so much it's one of my favorite games ever alright so we'll head in here and oh yeah I forgot about this part there's one last little hall of trials before the end of before we reach the end of the keep. Oh no! And we enter. What happened? What happened to the bull bill? Okay, can we run from this? I can. Okay, I'm just gonna do that. I don't care for that kind of battle right now. Okay, wait for this guy to pass and go, go! Oh crap. Uh oh. No! Damn it. Oh, there's only one this time. I guess I'll take it out. It's not, not like it's gonna do too much to us, anyways. We might be able to kill it in these first few turns, anyways. Frying pan! Metal on metal and does quite a substantial amount of damage, actually. Surprising. Jeez, we got more battle, more experience for that than we did for the Magic Koopa fight. Damn it. I don't want to fight you guys. Let me run. Come, okay, seriously? Thank you. Thank you for letting me finally run, Princess. Okay. What was he even firing those bullet bills? Never mind. And it looks like. This looks like a very familiar room, but now it's much farther back in the keep. Back to kind of near the beginning of the game right here. What's this place? <laughs> Who the hell was that? What the he- What? What's going on? Ah, so you are the notorious Mario. I'm impressed you made it this far. I didn't think you could. Well, who are you to think this anyways? Oh, feisty little fellow, aren't you? But this is the end of the line. Now you've got to deal with me. I'm guard. Alright, so I guess this is the first of Smithy's, like, direct underlings. Because, I don't know. Okay, so this is Boomer. He's not too bad. He's got 2,000 HP. Um, other than that, there's, like, not much. Just kind of take him down slowly and surely. Nothing to worry about, really. There's one attack they might watch out for. It's called Shaker, so if he does that, you might be in a bit of trouble, but nothing too major. Alright. Ow. <laughs> Ow. Yeah, right. Yeah, this guy's kind of crazy. Um, one thing that's worth noticing that is that his color, when he's red, I think he has a uh, higher something. He has higher defense, and when he's blue, he has higher offense. So it's kind of the reverse of what you would think. Like, when you think blue, most of the time you think defense, and when you think red, you think offense. That's just how it works in these games. I don't know why that's how it works, but it is. Wow, that was a lot of damage. Uh, I think we'll Geno boost to Mario. Just so he can be ultra powerful, do like 600 damage in one turn. It's ridiculous. Blast! Yeah, I like that's gonna do much to Peach. Dude, you've had two turns and you only done one damage to anyone. Hey, right, let's try that super jump. Actually, let's try ultra jump. Uh, yeah, since he's the only target. Wait, no, I did. Ah, uh, did I do ultra flame or something? Crap. Well, this should still do quite a bit. 499. Just shy of 500, how sad. Just, if you could have just shelled out that one extra fireball, Mario. Okay, so now he should have higher attack, which could be a bit threatening. I think he looks like ridiculous when he's blue. Shaker, uh oh. 
Oh, he missed. What a failure. You fail! Okay, ultra jump. Let's try that this time. Because I'm better at jumping than flames. Because I think the fire, it has like a set amount of fireballs you can shoot out. So it doesn't matter how many times you mash the Y button. Whereas you can kind of just keep going forever with the ultra jumps, and that wasn't too great, actually. I'm telling you, I'm not as good at that timing as the super jump timing. Right. Oh, did we beat him? Was that, is that all you got? Urgh, this is absurd. I can't be defeated by them. I won't let this happen. I won't fall in battle. <laughs> Having an attack. Oh, dude. I don't need your sympathy. I'm a soldier. I'm prepared to go. Take a dive. Chandelier ho! Yowch. Aww. See you later, kids. That's kind of sad, honestly. I don't know. Boomer! Aww. Poor Boomer. But not to worry. A little fall isn't gonna hurt you. Yeah, but we kind of just beat him to a pulp before he fell anyways. Alright, Mario. I'll lead you to the top. But, we're going to be led to the top, where we will face off, most likely against that giant sword smithy, next time! Yeah, I'm really doing this. So, thanks everyone for watching, and until next time, this is Argon Matrix signing out. Thanks, and good night.